Well, hello everyone. Here I have this 2010 Chrysler 300S uh, with 17,000 miles on it. And I walked around to the back and it says Super Chips on it. So I'm assuming this car is chipped. And um, so let's see. I believe this car is open because it is a smart key. And it is. So sit down and let's see if the keys are in the glove box and what do you know of course they are it's a very interesting looking key um, I guess this is like the emergency key but whatever just stick it in um, turn it's in accessory mode at the moment and start Wow holy cow that is some kind of exhaust noise Wow, this thing sounds incredible. Um, anyways, this car comes equipped with Chrysler's traditional and crappy five-speed automatic transmission. Actually, it's not that crappy, it's just outdated. Um, heated seats are there. I know there's a huge glare and I do apologize. I'm trying to do as much as I can to make it not glare. Um, you have your wiper controls here, you can see. Um, like I said, five speed automatic. The shifter is very slick and smooth. I do like that. Uh, right here is your cup holders, and they are illuminated. You can see, you can see the white ring around them. Uh, this one comes with the same seats, I believe, that are in the SRT8. You'd think by the sound of this one it was an SRT, but it's not. It's just a uh, 300S, so I'm assuming it has a 5.7 liter Hemi. I'm not going to open the hood because that'd be kind of obvious. Um, here's your sun visor. Let me see if I can clean this windshield to reduce some of that glare. There we go. That should help some. Um, there's your hazards up here. As for the interior materials, the dash is all soft touch, surprising. I didn't expect that. Um, but it is kind of a cheap, chintzy, and hollow sounding dash. Um, then right here you have a hard, cheap sounding plastic. And um, over here, this is out of a Mercedes. These little controls here are, um, which I find kind of nice. This was probably engineered when Chrysler and Mercedes were teamed up together, which that obviously didn't work because they're not like that anymore. Um, leather wrapped steering wheel with chrome rings around it. Oop, my finger was there. Didn't realize that. And slight side bolstering grip extensions and kind of a carbon fibery finish. And um, I know this thing is fast as I'll get out if it's equipped with a chip. I'm not really sure where the controller is. Perhaps. I'm not sure. You probably have to hook something up to it somewhere that I don't know. Um, this one is a non-smoker, thank God. Um, right here, of course, you have like, it's like a carbon fiber finish shifter, which is very nice. It uh, has red stitching around it. There's your climate control. It is automatic, and this one does have Chrysler's Uconnect system, which I think is a, I mean, it's a decent system. It's not bad, but it's not great. Um, I'll go out here, and I'll start it back up, because that'll get the revs a little higher. I'll get an exhaust clip. Man, that is some kind of sound coming out of this car. I'm sure it's muffling the camera, it's even muffling my ears. But my goodness, that is something. Beautiful sound, wow. I'm a sucker for good exhaust notes, and that is a good one. I'll do a rev again. Oh, you can even, you, this thing just screams. Has a rev limiter, unfortunately. I'll do a rev with the door shut. This one's obviously not a stock exhaust. If it was, I'd be very surprised and pleased. 
to be honest. Um, glove box is fairly decent sized. Um, as for the seats, I know I'm jumping around in this video a lot, but I'm kind of rushing and making sure nobody comes up to look at the car while I'm filming. So, seats are covered in this red suede, or red and black suede pattern, uh, accented with leather. Um, it's a very nice feeling leather, actually, and these seats are very comfy, very supportive. They'll hold you in very well. Um, nice side bolstering. I'm not a fan of this steering wheel design at all. Um, it looks very cheap to me. I think it just looks very tacky and chintzy. I'm cleaning that windshield again. This glare is just killing me. Um, I, I cannot believe how good this car sounds. That is incredible. I have never heard a Chrysler sound like that. And I, I didn't expect it to. But I am very glad it does. But um, anyways, I'll do one last rev. Um, golly, that's intoxicating. Anyways, um, I'll rev it one more time with the door open. But anyways, I'm done before I get in trouble, and I will catch you guys later. Hope you guys enjoyed. Thanks for watching.